Hello and welcome back at Dukes Aquaristi Experimente. Today I am on a very special place for all fans of cichlids from the lake Malawi or Tanganyika. I am at Piskes Fish Farm in Israel. Here they have some really rare species. This I show you, I explain it to you or I let it explain to you. I hope you have fun with it. The fish farm is specialized on working with white cord species from Lake Tanganyika and Malawi. The resulting F1 generations are highly in demand on other breeders worldwide. This is one of the showrooms where you can find lots of trophies, but also some really rare fish that you never will find like this on your normal standard fish store around the corner. The rest of the video is recorded directly in the fish room in the breeding area, so sometimes the audio is a bit tricky. I hope you still understand, and if you have further questions, just use the comments. So what, what fish is this? This is called the Lepidio Lampologus caninctoni. You can see a wild caught pair, guarding about 600, 700 fries. You can see in the corner huge amount of uh, F1 juveniles. Yeah. They are about uh, 14 days old. 14 days? Yeah. Already free swimming. Yeah. The, the damage on the fin is because it's wild caught, you know, so... No, because the male uh, chooses the female so much, huh? Co courted the female uh, intensively, so... Yeah, okay. This is the male here in the corner. These are the juvenile of the of the, the adult pair, yes, they're yes. about one years old. Okay. Um, they grow slowly, as most Tanganyikan grow slowly, yeah? Yeah. Um, between uh, 10 to 12 centimeters long. Uh, those ones I like a lot. Those ones are from the feather fins. Uh, yeah. This is called Fuai uh, Alembe. Yeah. From Alembe Collection Point. Currently they're not courting, but when they court, they have uh, very nice colors. Yeah. Males uh, have the long uh, Fin. fins. Yeah. And the females are uh, totally silver. Yeah. Yeah. These are trophies. What, what variation is it? Yes, this is the first Bricciardi Canary Chick. Okay. From uh, Kabimba Collection Point. Okay. And uh, it's, it's F1 offered for sale. Um, they're about uh, 7 to 8 centimeters uh, long, but we have them in smaller size also. The Tipochromis is uh, called Lepto Leptosoma yellow and bitter, also F1. That was born here. Okay. Those are F1 Trophos Dubaisi, Alembe and uh, to first Mori Chaitika Blue Rainbow along with uh, Tsipuchromis uh, Leptosoma Kigoma Yeah So um, the question always in Profeos comes um, you have two, two of a kind, you have to be aware that you have two different variations variations but not the same uh, not the same uh, not two, two times Mori, but this is two yes, this easy is, works and Mori works Yes, this is this is this species is Duboise with Mori. Yeah. They don't mix together. They don't uh, breed together. Yeah. So it's a nice combination of color. Of, of color, and uh, if you don't want uh, hybrids, yes. So it's a very popular combination. Combinations, and, and the Tsipkomis can live with trophies also. They are uh, omnivores, so no problem to yeah. put them together as well. I did the same. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, the version that breeds in 
shells. Because they are the compressive caps, but they get too big for shells. But this is a smaller one. Yes, yeah? this is called Altolatologus compressive set uh, Sumbu, Sumbu Dwarf, Sumbu Shell. Okay. The male is a bit bigger than the female. You can yeah. see the female behind Yeah, them. I see, I see. Uh, they breed in uh, Tanganyikan shells. Um, they are the most, uh, the, the most uh, smaller ones in the composite sets. Really, really rare fish, really rare. I never saw this in, in person in, in, uh, yeah. in Germany. Never. The male uh, is, is just in front of the female. The female yeah, yeah, I see, I see. This is another male in the back. Well, what, what number can you hold them by pair or because, uh, for example, the other shell dwellers here, you, you can use them, have in groups, but this one's not, maybe, huh? You can keep them in groups, but uh, they pair up, so... Pair up, okay. Then. One male will go with... Uh, are those all those neons here? Yeah, blue neons. You can see nice males on the back there. Yeah. And females. They show typically this laying along yeah. the, the stones. Yeah, it's a bit uh, shy, sickly. So yeah, yeah, you see. Yeah, you need the darker tank for them, I guess. Yeah. Then they come more out. Yeah. Uh, those are F1s, Trofeus Ecola and Trofeus uh, Sunspot Mekulungu. We, we put the F1s in those tanks, in these show tanks, and then fill them and offer them for, for, for our clients. And actually, what they see is what they get if they buy them. Okay. So, so the link to your website and YouTube channel I put in the description anyway, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, so look at that. So w when we offer some special groups for sale, we fill them. Yeah. We upload them to our uh, website and yeah. YouTube. And uh, our clients can order the same fish they see in the video. So you order to, you, you sell to private. People, but yeah. you have to pick it in, in Europe. You have to pick it up from the airport. This is what we told you before. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, but we are working on it. That maybe yeah. in the near future, maybe it could, could be even door to door. Okay. Those are uh, F ones, Alunakara, Stuart Duranti, Undurif Blue Neons, F ones. You can see the males. You can see females uh, here. This one. Yeah. We sell uh, males and females, of course. Um, this is a special fish called uh, the Twinops green face. Yeah, the, 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 the form is also interesting. Is this yeah. Malawi? Yeah, from Malawi. Okay. It's a sand sifter from uh, Malawi. Uh -huh. We use the, the sand to find his, his food and yeah. to make a big nest for the, for the females, to bring the females. and. Uh, Breed there, very rare fish. Yeah, and I never saw it before actually. Yeah. It's also in a lot of most of the time the, the colors are different, but the form is almost the same, the shape of the fish. Yeah. But this is really different shape. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah. What would it cost one of those fish? It's about uh, thirty dollars this size. Yeah. Huh? What's the cost of the fish? Yeah. You know, can you say this or? Yeah, no problem. About. This size, this it's about 12, 30 centimeters. It's about thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, and then the shipping, of course. Uh, shipping yeah, maybe not, not more than the shipping. <laughs> <laughs> the next fish. Another rare fish. This is a special leptosoma. I never saw this such a nice blue yeah, fins and. You have uh, males with uh, yellow tails yeah, and yeah. males with blue tails. Yeah. It's called leptosoma chaitika. The yellow chest because when they grow bigger, yeah. the bottom of the mouth is uh, very yellow. Okay. You can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, over here, yeah. A bit, a bit uh, lower. Lower? Lower, lower. This, this one, one already. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. So um, it's a very rare leptosoma. Yeah. We got it a few months ago, but this one, our F1s, already, already started breeding. You can see blue. Yeah, yeah I see, I see it here. See? And they are offered for sale at this size or smaller ones. Okay. And this one? Can you say, tell about this fish? Yeah, this is the uh, Lepidio Lamprologus uh, Lemari from Kigoma area. Yeah. He becomes a bit bigger. The male becomes about 15 centimeters long. The female is a bit smaller, 12, 13 centimeters long. 
And the uh, cave borders, they breed in caves. They breed uh, most, um, actually most, a uh, lot, lot of Tanganyika do that, uh, but they, they don't lay on the sand. <laughs> Usually, yeah. you know, it's a... Yeah, it's a pretty static fish. Yeah. Uh, he saves his energy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> most of the time. What? But very... Is it an aggressive or what he feeds? Is it omnivore or...? Yeah, it's uh, or carnivore. Carnivore yeah. fish. Carnivore. Okay. Nice. Well, this is now the breeding area, yes? Breeding area and just make a show, huh? Just make a Babies. Okay. What do you feed the fish? Do you have a special food or? Live or frozen or only dry food. Dry food. Uh, for first, they are vegetarian. Yeah. And then, uh, the adults eat Sarah Granovre. Okay. Sarah. Yeah. In Germany. Yeah, oh yeah, I know Sarah. Uh, adult uh, carnivore uh, fish. We feed them with Sarah. Sarah Discus Granula. Yeah. Okay. And the juveniles, uh, they feed the juvenile food. Ja, wir haben da doch so ein, zwei Fischchen hier. <lacht> How many fish can you say roughly? 100, 200? About 30,000. 30, so 30,000 fish. Yeah. Okay. Tengenikian and... How, how long, how long is, is normal for Tengenikian to breed to uh, uh, sellable size? Say. The size is about uh, 3 centimeters for most of the fish itself. Yeah. And how long does it take uh, roughly? In general, it's about three to four months. Three to four months. And how often do you have to feed to get this weight? Uh, three times a day? Two to three times a day. Okay, okay. Big, big amount of medium. Yeah. Well, what medium you use? Uh, Sarah Ciborax. Ciborax, you yeah. Okay. It's simple, just the bucket. Then once you yeah. pump it in, then yeah. one down. Air system. Yeah. That pumps air and yeah. vacuums the water down to the from above. Yeah, here you can stop the problem and the yeah. zero supports. Okay. And you also do for temperature protection, yeah. you do isolation, yeah? So polyurethane. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense, yeah. So, uh, so uh, black calves, really rare, really nice. This is a Big one this is the Cyphotelapia North from Kabogo collection point. Okay. Many females, sub adult male. The big male is just uh, ran out. Ran, is just there behind you. See that? Yeah, I see, I see. He's a very big male. Yeah, <laughs> really big. But this is what you need to know if you buy those fish because sometimes in the shop they are just some senti. Oh, nice fish. And yeah. then this is what comes out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> When uh, <laughs> customers buy, uh, come here, we uh, explain them everything. Yeah, yeah, of if course. If they have a small tank, I mean, them, it's not suitable yeah, yeah. for this. But there are variations in the shops you can buy, you know, and then you should know yeah. what you get. And then you do the job and, and explain it, it's clear, you know, you see what comes out of it. You yeah. know, so. This one uh, is Giborosa from Karema collection point, close to Mpimbo collection point, but still we separate them. Yeah, so and it's a bit more the light. The mild, yeah, it's a it's a light blue. Yeah, uh, and also very popular variation. Yeah, the blue ones are very popular. Yeah, who's that here? Oh, we have already small ones here. Uh, yeah, so they don't eat their own ones, or no, they don't eat it, but uh, we okay. collect them. Uh, Next week. Um, this one is Kigoma Seven Stripes. Yeah. They have a mix of blue and gold coloration on the fins. But it's all wild cut. It's not. It's not uh, selected. It's really as you get it in yeah. nature. Yeah. Just the, the collecting see. point is different. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah there's this a is big one. Blue Zary Mobile. He is a little bit shy. Yeah, the, you can see a brooding female with eggs mm -hmm. around here, and over there, the, the, 
below the mail. The mail will soon uh, will come out and you see how big it is. It's very, very big, very beautiful mail. Yeah, you just see the end and the... Yeah, let's hope it'll come out. This is very beautiful. Yeah. Also a very rare vi variant from uh, Karilani. Mm -hmm. It's called North Karilani Gold Fin because the upper fin is very it's a light, it's a strong uh, gold coloration. Okay. And they have nice mask on their face. You see the yeah. stripes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Very nice. Yeah. And they get uh, a very big uh, uh, lamp head. Yeah. So you look famous? Mesobo Magunga. Aha. Yeah. Really nice coloration. Yeah. And the, the males are uh, the females are yellow and this are the males. The males are black and blue. blue. Really nice. I, I never saw them actually though. Yeah. Because it's really rare to find that you have male and female good looking. Uh, uh, yeah, I have so the Lombardoi. That's the reason it's a very popular fish. Yeah, yeah I, I have the Lombardoi. I also sing. You know Lombardoi? Yeah. I like them. Listen. So you don't wait the whole time. You you extract them earlier and then put them out in the. Generally, after nine to ten days, I extract the larvae yeah. from the female. And as you do that to to to, to save the the the, white, uh, the female. Uh, yeah, and the, if she will uh, hold the, the fry, yeah. the whole period it's about three to four weeks, so she doesn't eat. Yeah. And she become weaker. It's not like in the wild that she spawns with the male and goes away. Yeah. So no one bothers her and she hides in the rocks or in the yeah. veget uh, in, the, in hiding places. So in the aquarium she exposed to the male harassment all the time. Mm -hmm. So after nine to ten days I extract the larvae and then I incubate it in this uh, incubator. And then the female uh, eats again and comes stronger faster. Okay. This is baby frontosa here. Baby frontosa. <laughs> they have also light, light blue, shiny. Yeah, it's uh, keeping the blue. Keeping the blue. So this is 12 years now and it's still breeding, still doing good. So see how all the fish can get even just additional. What they really need is clean water and good food. Some of those breeding methods you can discuss about, but it seems that they are pretty successful with it. This successful that they plan to extend the area for breeding, as you can see here in preparation. This is even more important as the Lake Tanganyika is on risk because of the changes following the climate change. This is the red chamber, you can see the, the dominant male, yeah. all fired up. You can see breeding females in the back. Yeah. This is a breeding group, but uh, in our show time. But well, they look a, a bit different than, than the, the male, though. They don't look too wet. Oh, the, 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 this, yes. But this is white cod. Here you yes, see another wet. Oh, oh, nice. Yes, this is also here. Oh. What, what group, minimum size of group do, would you recommend for trophies? Minimum size is uh, 12 pieces. 12 pieces, pieces. okay. But if the aquarium, it's, it's suitable for uh, 110 uh, centimeters or 120 centimeters long. Yeah. But if it's a bigger aquarium, we recommend to keep more. Okay. If it's about one, uh, 150 centimeters, one hundred fifty seven, actually eighteen to twenty. Okay. And they have the, the the other one wet. This is this is something with these spots. It's also very interesting. This is uh, this is the first one that was found about four or five years ago. It's called Murago Tanzania. Um, we have we have Murago from from Congo. It's a, from the other side of the lake. Okay. It's a bit more green, green yeah, yeah, yeah. but this one is a bit more uh, dark uh, brown. Yeah. These are those. This is the what you showed me before. The yeah. Book. What I showed you before was the 
offsprings. Yeah, this is the adult male. Uh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Lots of those ones are very nice. Yeah. It's breeding, yeah? Yes, this is a breeding female of uh, Fortifer uh, Kigoma. This is the male here. Is this you can explain again? Because this I never saw before. <coughs> it's an open water fish or what is, what yes, is it? It's an open water fish, it's called uh, Aplotexodon microlepis. It's uh, in the lake, we, it's in about 25 to 50 meters in depth. Mm -hmm. you, you can see a unique uh, jaw. Yeah. An upper mouth. So and this step is unusual, yeah? Yeah, and you see that you have a big eyes. Yeah. So he stays in the depth and uh, he's, with his big eyes he spots his uh, prey. It's a small fish like uh, juvenile Lutosoma or Ventralis. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just uh, comes out from the depth to the, to the few meters. And uh. then he sucks them with his, with his mouth. Okay. That's why he's got this unique uh, mouth form. Really never saw before. Really nice. And the uh, Vontoros is also great. Huh? Yeah. This is a Cipochromis microlepidotus. Not leptosoma, microlepidotus. Mm -hmm. From Kavala. Uh, each male got a different uh, color pattern. So you have blue males with black and you see this uh, Half black body male, very unique uh, microlepidotus. Yes, really nice, really nice. This one is the uh, other male. Yeah, it looks totally different. You see, yeah, it's totally different, kind. different, but they come from the same uh, place. But on the other hand, you don't know what you get. So if they breed, you don't know what you get. It always changes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Mm -hmm. What is this? Looks like a like a. This is a sand well clownfish, is it? but it doesn't set trail on the sand. <laughs> this one is a better looking, the dominant thing. Yeah, I see. I see. This is called Calochromis plurispilus from Kigoma. It's a sand dweller from Tanganyika. Um, very popular fish, very colorful fish. You can see the females, the females are... This one? This one? Yeah. Not much colors on her. Yeah. The, the females are the attractive ones. Yeah. That's most of the time. Well, this is one, this looks like a snakehead here, this one. Yeah, this is called the Pidiolum prologus ateniatus. Uh -huh. from Kigoma. Also interesting patterns. Yeah. That's for today. I hope you got inspired and saw something you never saw before. For me, at least, I saw some fish I really never saw or rarely saw before. It is possible to get this fish. I don't get paid for this or anything. Just check out the video description. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and use the comments if you have further questions or opinions. See you next time at Dukes Aquaristic Experimenter.